Hey guys, Tim here, and I am in Russia at the biggest game ever. 3,200 people strong, and uh, I think I'm lost. I also hope that this game isn't boring. <laughs> So let's start, shall we? I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to go all the way to Moscow, Russia, to partake in one of their largest games ever, known as Armored War 8. Since Armored War is in the name, you could expect tanks, APCs, T-80s, T-90s, etc. But let's start at the beginning. People came from all over Russia, Netherlands, Israel, France, Estonia, and many other countries to participate in the 24-hour event. This may not seem like 3,200 people, because it isn't. The rest of them were already playing by the time I arrived. We have the yellow Republicans team and the blue Confederate team. This is only one quarter of the total amount of people participating. I was on the blue team, running alongside the team called Seal Team 6. We started straight away and made our way to our starting locations. Tim, yeah. what do you think about Russian airsoft battlefield? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I've never had my shoes this muddy before. I was very happy to see Lancaster, a very well-known Russian YouTube presenter, playing alongside us. Unfortunately, not much happened at the start of the game, so ST6 made their way to the respawn as they were given a special mission. Our mission was to escort the VIP from Atlanta to the danger zone, right above Chicago and Detroit. So we jumped on an APC and rode in to Atlanta, which was epic. The folks you see in the red armbands are Russian military personnel pretending to be live action role players. So they fired blanks every so often, scared the living daylights out of us. I'm so glad I got that. <laughs> We leapt off the APC thinking the opposition were over the edge. It's friendly, friendly. Okay. But they turned out to be our teammates. We walked on over to Atlanta and met up with the VIP. ST6 started making their way to Hamilton. Unfortunately, on our path toward New Orleans, we encountered trouble and had to retreat. It turns out the yellow team had taken New Orleans. Every time we encountered more yellow players, we retreated and moved on westward. This happened a few more times. We finally made it to the road beneath Chicago, and then we scouted that area for a while before we decided to push on. This part was almost impossible to complete. We decided to split up into two groups, one with the VIP and Maxim and I in the other covering them. They walked across the field at a regular pace, making sure they didn't grab the other team's attention. Maxim and I followed behind and was about to take out the tank, but didn't end up needing to. This enemy is over there, ahead of you. They're over there. We noticed a few live yellow members behind us and decided to make a run for it. We finally made it to the other side, into the forest, and reached our destination. ST6 received their kill order for the next mission. We needed to make our way to Boston to take out the yellow team's lead commander. We traversed along the top of the map since we knew no one would be looking that way. But by the time we got there, a large group of blue team members already took Boston. We missed out on the chance to kill Ramsey Bolton, I mean, the yellow team's commander, but it wasn't over. Luckily for us, we noticed a large group of two yellow APCs and more than 50 yellow players on their way from Detroit. So we decided to set up an ambush.
This was the only time I was taken out, but they managed a headshot. We managed to take out both APCs and about 50 odd players before we were all taken out. Unfortunately, this was all I could film with the GoPro before it got dark. I was fortunate enough to tag along in the night game using NVGs, but the rain prevented the cameraman from coming along. Here's a montage of what went down. Still plenty more action going on. As I was sneaking around, there was a huge battle for Richmond. Since it was such a large game, I couldn't be everywhere at once, so I'd like to thank these Russian Airsoft YouTubers, Marty, Lancaster Airsoft, Red Army Airsoft, Vault 151, and Spawn48 for willingly lending me their footage. If it weren't for them, this epic montage wouldn't have been possible. If you don't know who they are, I suggest you subscribe to their channel, which is in the description below, as they can offer you amazing Russian airsoft gameplay all year around. See you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV.